our expectation is that it's going to be a really fun time. Austin's total solar eclipse is literally a once-in-a-lifetime event. There are people, including my brother, who have traveled to other eclipses and do this regularly whenever they're happening somewhere, and we think that we're going to get lots of those people here. Travis County Judge Andy Brown says at the extreme end, <laughs> the population of the region could even double in the days leading up to the eclipse. If they all, for some reason, end up in Travis County because of weather, that's where we might be able to see something like that. And by making this declaration, We've done it in the past in ice storms during COVID. Uh, we did it last summer kind of as a preventive measure because we were under such high fire danger. Travis County can enhance its powers when it comes to managing the increased traffic. That's what we're trying to uh, put resources in place for, to direct traffic, extra, extra law enforcement on the streets out in those areas, extra signage. Most importantly, the declaration now requires private property owners in more rural areas of the county to notify officials that they plan on hosting a gathering with more than 50 people to watch the eclipse. It helps us figure out what kind of traffic plan or traffic planning that we need to do to make sure that people can get in and out and that emergency vehicles can get in and out. Judge Brown also recommends those living here to plan ahead for traffic congestion during the week of the eclipse. If you have grocery shopping to do or gas to get in your car or some kind of appointment that is not an emergency, try to do that before the eclipse. Get all set and get to a place and stay there and watch this beautiful eclipse. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.